like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, well those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14 day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ooch and as always with the homie Kai and we are back again once again. Hope y'all are having a great day, week, month, whenever you're listening to this. We're here with episode 12 of the Full Power Podcast. So it's been a couple weeks but um, we got the chapter to discuss so we have plenty to talk about on this week's episode of Full Power Podcast. Not a lot else has been going on as far as, you know, Dragon Ball, you know, yeah, like not, <laughs> not, not, nothing really has been happening outside of uh, our favorite favorite series that, we're not, obviously not talking about Dragon Ball Super 2, no, we're talking about Super Dragon Ball Heroes. You hear that silence? Exactly. <laughs> I promise you though, Kai is there. He's actually he he's he is here. He, he is here. But Uchi talking about that episode twelve shit. We on episode thirteen. We not talking about that super dragon ball he huh, nothing. <laughs> talking about that chapter. We talking about some other stuff. We got good stuff. Yeah, I mean look man, the only like like the only thing realistically look, the only thing that there is to mention about Super Dragon Ball Heroes is the simple fact that they pretty much revealed the new costumes for Goku and Vegeta. And that's about it. That's... <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's what it is, man. Like, you know, kind of... We're still waiting for the... Um, matter of fact, we are... Yeah, we're still we're still waiting for the, uh, the episode to premiere, I believe. But yeah, this is actually episode 13. I have to check for myself. So that's a... That's a hiccup on my end, but anyways, you guys know what it is. We're here for episode number 13, one thrizzle, 13 episodes in the building. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, what? I still haven't been Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. That's, I haven't, I haven't been able to get back into that in a while. Um, haven't really seen anyone else talk about it, so I'm sure everyone else and their mothers have beaten the game on their own, you know, versions or whatever. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Really quick, before we do get into this chapter, there is something else that I guess I will just throw out there, and then we'll we'll start. Did you know? And I did a video on this, by the way. Did you know that they have a uh, Dragon Ball Z reference in uh, a recent Flash comic over on DC? Yes, I yeah, I saw your yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I, th- I thought it was pretty cute. Now, the thing is, the, the whole purpose of me making a video outside of it being Dragon Ball related about the topic was for people that may have c- came across that link or whatever like because you know you know how facebook and instagram and like twitter can be like comicbook.com or cbr like they are known for making very click baity ass titles and articles and they basically were like the flash goes super saiyan i'm like shut up like that was my first reaction like <laughs> it was not like Oh my god really like no i don't i we don't get fooled out here for stuff like this okay like (laughs) we don't get fooled out here no we don't like i i knew it was clickbait but you know what we do with those clickbaits we we, (laughs) (laughs) i can't even i can't even finish it (laughs) we weave those (laughs) we weave those (laughs) yeah Eventually, guys, we'll have a merch line. Eventually, anyway. So yeah, so the Flash goes. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't go Super Saiyan at all. He 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 goes so fast or whatever at some point or something crazy happens in the comic where the the it's a line that said like oh like if you if you do too much you'll go Super Saiyan and that's it that's it that's the extent of it. So it's like you know the article is like oh like does does Dragon Ball Z exist in the DC universe? No, the fuck it does not. Just just. Just keep it moving, all right? Look forward to, to fucking the, the next, whenever we get the next season of Dragon Ball Super, all right? Read the manga, have yourself a good one, you know. 
watch Super Dragon Ball Heroes if you really have that itch. You know, you know how like sometimes you might not want to drink soda, but you're like, oh man, I need something. And you get those like 67, 67 cent bottle of like super special water with flavor. I don't know, I don't know what the hell they're called, but <laughs> that's what Super Dragon Ball Heroes is. Leaves you, your mouth dry and it ain't the same. <laughs> so now with all that out of the way, now let's talk about this chapter. So. I don't know about you, but I, I I think this chapter was pretty solid, just to say. They've overall. been pumping out solid ones for a minute now. Yeah. Yeah, they they really have been. I uh, I I read this one at work as per usual. That's what I've been doing for the last few. Cause you know, like I think I've mentioned this before. I, I used to try to save these for when I would get home and I had a nice big computer screen to read these on. I'm like, man, I ain't got time for that. I I, I have you know how quick i became adjusted to reading manga off my phone now like i used to i used to not do that i used to only do that in like emergency situations and i mean when i say emergency i mean i'm literally in class back in the day at school and the john drops and my teacher was that boring that i was like yo i gotta read this right here right now <laughs> And I see like my boy a couple seats. Oh no, actually no, a, a seat ahead of me, and he's read. I'm like, oh no, no 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 no. I I need to read it right now. So yeah. <laughs> By the time we got out of the class, we we was like, oh yeah, like that that shit was fire. And this uh, this is like back in the day when I was like when Naruto and Bleach was still going on. But all right, all right. So the, so the chapter, right? This is chapter. What is this? This is chapter 57 of Dragon Ball Super. So, again, Toyotaro doing a really fantastic job with this story. Th this this arc is still, I want to say, like the best arc that they've got right now. Um, we got the face-off between all the Z Warriors and then all of the Moro folks. Um, we got some new technology implemented from boma chan all right she's out here with the capsule court tech she got freaking monitors linked to drones so we got drones right. in, in this right so i'm like yo that's dope though because remember back in the day we used to have to go to kami's lookout and close our eyes to <laughs> to watch anything happening in the real isn't time isn't that better though i mean i guess but I don't know. I, I I like I like using the technology, you know. Well, if you got an itch, you open your eye, you lose connection. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm. <laughs> anyway, so so yeah. So everyone's watching, and then you know we going into Curlin. Shout out to Chi Chi. She's like, oh, I can watch my little Gohan in action. I'm like, your your little Gohan is a father. Hello, <laughs> little Gohan. Which, you know what, actually, there is something I do want to um, talk about Gohan Relay, but we'll get to that. But it's just, it, the line that Chi-Chi says is just, it, it, it's funny and it reminds me, and you'll see why I tie it in when we get to that part. So we got Krillin, he's fighting the um, Universe 7 equivalent of uh, the uh, Universe 6's Winnie the Pooh character, I forget the name. Botamo, thank you. I forgot the name off the top of the dome here, but Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah, he, he's the Universe Seven equivalent. So, and I, it didn't even occur to me that that was what that was, or what this character was like when we first were introduced. Oh, it definitely occurred to me. Oh yeah, no, like, you you were on it, definitely for sure. But I got hit with my own actually. What the <laughs> fuck is this? So, we out here. They're fighting. They're going back and forth. Krillin is sending out the Destructo discs, and because of this, we learned that our boy Krillin. Has upgraded himself. He did, you know, he did a couple side quest missions. He saw Frieza and so used that. <laughs> he was like, "Hold on, right? Hold on, actually, uh, I can do that too." Yes, so it is confirmed. Krillin can now use his yeet telekinetic. The Kienzon, this. Yes, yes. He can officially yeet the Kienzon. Mm hmm He can. He can redirect it. With a with a flick of a finger, flick of the wrist, and and that's that's godlike. That's good. So you know he's he's trying to hold his own now. He's fighting against this character. They're going back and forth. He feels like he it looks like he was about to get he's about to get got by his own destructive disc, much similarly to Frieza. But my man, I, of course, 
I saw that and I was like, nah, he's not gonna get hit. I, like, I didn't know what he was gonna do, but I was like, there's zero chance he's gonna get hit by his own disc. <laughs> if he figured out how to move it, he absolutely figured out how to dodge. I saw the after image, I was like, oh! Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was like, oh, that's what that was. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then he like, bla I guess he blasts him away. Oh yeah, he goes, ha! Ah! Yeah, I see right here, bam. Yeah. For reference, we are we we do have the chapter in front of us. That's like the best way to make sure we don't miss a single thing in, in going over this chapter, talking about it and whatnot. So Krillin basically gets his W real quick after this. Then he goes in, and uh, and now he now he finds Roshi nearby. Now, funny part about the Ro Ro this is like where all of the comedy for this chapter is right here. Okay, Roshi. Low key, high key, no key, the door's f wide fucking open, okay? Is like one of the best characters ever. Like, I just, every time, and, and I love how he's always getting the females to fight. Because as strong as he is, and let's not forget, in the manga of this, you know, series, Roshi is the one that basically introduced the idea of ultra instinct to goku okay let's not forget this and he held his own against jiren like let's definitely not forget about that so with all that in mind so they, th that actually plays a part into this whole thing you know he's he's having a little bit of a hard time fighting these three girls because for the fact that they're girls there's even a line where he says i found me some tough foes but I, 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 actually i thought that said hoes for a second but that, that said foes <laughs> <laughs> won't even let me grope him or i mean attacks ain't hitting right like that he literally says that i laughed i laughed as soon as i read that i was like <laughs> roshi silly little roshi lollies are for never mind anyway we gotta focus just like he says in the chapter you got some nerve pulling at us on on us you old creep talk about the girl on the left just like covering herself yo and and see when i saw that i laughed even more because i was like oh he definitely went after her then right <laughs> he was definitely trying to get a feelsies you gotta see that and with the with the smack to send him flying in the anime uh-huh <laughs> yeah like it was, it was it was funny like this part was definitely <laughs> mad funny um so now so screen. so then he realizes he's like okay I gotta clear my mind. And and he even says, he's like, ah, maybe my mind's possessed by some kind of wicked energy. And Chris's like, nah, I, I I think I know what's going on here. Like, <laughs> you got the wrong head. Exactly. Exactly. So so then so then we get a, a quick glimpse of what, what's going on with Tien and uh Chaozu. And they're fighting the Universe 7 equivalent of the uh the freaking robot that universe six had which i also forget their name at Magetta. The... Magetta, there we go so Magetta, so the, the the Magetta equivalent right and because of the prior experience with the tournament of power this plays a part and they're like in like tn like tries to deck them sock them bopper style right in the right in the the, the robot chest the mecha chest right he goes, ah, damn, my hand. As if, like. <laughs> that shit fucking hurt, right? Like, <laughs> Tien out here, he's hurting. And and then, like, of course, this punch has no effect. And then they realize, like, oh, this guy is basically like a uh, Magetta. Right. So what do we need to do? We need to insult him, Tien. Insult him? And Tien is then, we see him struggling, trying to trying to insult the, the poor robot. I say poor robot. I'll, I'll get to that right after this. Chiaotu has no... Chiaotu's clapback game. <laughs> like, for real. Chiaotu, Chiaotu then had, had had no doubt or... No chill. No chill. No filter. He he, he was ready. He was like, man, I, I'm about to roast this dude. On some right. <laughs> SSJ9 stuff right here. He's like, I'm about to roast this dude. Right? Does the truth hurt? Then give me your best shot. He called him... What do you call him? He what, what, what was the thing? He, he called, called him an octopus. octopus. Yeah, called him an octopus, and then he called him a half-witted hunk of scrap metal. And as soon as that was said, this dude just straight up had like a malfunction, dropped onto the ground, started crying, and that was it. That that was and the then defeat Shouty right there. Started fucking roasting Tien. 
Yeah, he's like, yo, you suck at insulting people, bro. <laughs> like, straight up, like. <laughs> he looked at him with the swiftness, so he was like, yo, bro, by the way, you're trash. Right. Like, <laughs> it's like, Chaozu's is like, it's like, dude, I blew up for you once for this? Like. <laughs> 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 dude like man man oh man all right so there we go so then, so then we go back over to see what's up with with roshi right now this is where i really like this is what backs up my claim before when i'm saying roshi is like one of the best characters of all time like because he knows of his weakness to females all right he's attracted to just about any of them and i say just about we're gonna get to that right <laughs> but you know, these three young ladies, I guess, aren't the, the worst of lookers, I guess. And so, they, that's part of his weakness. So, know what the man does? He whips out a Ryu headband from Street Fighter and ties it around his eyes. My man puts the whole headband over his eyes so he cannot see. Purposefully blinding himself. And the funniest part about all of this is that he literally was able to fight them a lot better blindfolded than he was with his vision intact. What were your thoughts on that? It makes perfect sense to me. Like, this has been Roshi, bro. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, I... I like, you know how much of a perv he is? Like, real shit. <laughs> and you have to think about how fast things happen in Dragon Ball. Can you imagine, like, him staring at a nice rack real quick? It don't matter how quick it is. That's slow. He'll get hit. Like, yeah. So he, like, it makes perfect sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I just, I just enjoyed it. Like, he, we see him tossing them all around. Like, he's he reading their movements. Yo, like, he, he spun her. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, like, Jiren spun hit. Yes. 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 With the swiftness. Hit him with the swiftness. And he's like trying to tell them to atone, you know, like head back to that galactic prison. Just be grateful there's a place where you get to atone. Of course, they're not trying to have that. And then, now this part, I was kind of surprised on. I was not expecting I, this next part. I saw three girls. I saw it coming. I saw, I smelled the Reaper and perfume, like I swear. You know, it, and that's the thing. Like, I was like, you know, this is kind of wild that they're real. This is like a mirror image mm -hmm. of the Tournament of Power. Like, not exactly, but. It might as well. Be. Yo, and, and I think that's kind of funny. But it's like, it's interesting because it's just like, I thought, okay, I was like, okay, they got two characters that that can relate to at least the universe six side of things because you know like those the, the two universes are parallel so of course they're gonna have like similar johns making appearances here and there and then we, but, but now it even goes beyond that because it's like okay we got three new girls who were you know like criminals and they were in the galactic the prison and then they whip out this this three-way fusion similar to like what you said with rip brand i was like you gotta be kidding me right and they, they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they freaking fuse into this big old freaking chick, right? She's like the, I, I, how do you, how would you even describe this? Pass. All right. Fair enough. All I, here's how I'm going to describe this. This female is the yikes. Cause that's exactly what Ryoshi said. He Roshi took the freaking he headband off. Yikes, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took he took the head <laughs> he took the headband right off, and he goes yikes. Now that ain't cute at all. So now right. he now he's free to use his eyes. But they, but even even during that, this is their this was this is their turnaround point. So this new three way fusion, the, I don't think they have a name, but um at least not now. They didn't. ugly. Fugly. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that for now. You know, she freaking has it has her way with uh, both Ro Roshi and Krillin, and you know she was like, damn, like he like she sure packs a punch. You know, and and then you know we have a we have a we have a scene where they go back to Yamcha's checking out what Yamcha's doing. Meanwhile, Moro's spaceship is finally on the move. And we're like, uh-oh. 
Uh-oh, what's happening? Freaking 17 and 18 are having their way with 7 Thrizzy. And right when it looked like 17 was about to defeat 7 3, my man Moro caught him by the fuck the freaking dome, son. <laughs> caught him by the dome. Tosses him to the side. Tells him recover this dude because I ain't done you. Yo, they put this man in his underwear, like, goddamn. Forty seven. Yeah, they really did. Holy God I just, damn seven to three. They they really did. Damn. <laughs> my man is literally in just boxers for whatever race he's at right now. So So they tell him to, to heal him. He tells him to heal him. They take him away. And now, I will also acknowledge the, the leaks, right? I don't, for the record, guys, I don't look at none of the scans or the leaks that, that take place. It's a, It's been a thing on my mind, like, oh, should I cover stuff like that? But, like, at the end of the day, I, 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 I just think it's more fun when I have no idea, like, what to expect. Or I don't see anything, and then I go and see it, and then I'm just like, oh, shit, this was fire. Um, But a lot of the, 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 well, some of the scans that came out... I, I, I saw a lot of people talking about, oh, like, Gohan versus Moro. Gohan versus Moro. Like, that was teased, yes, but I can assure you that's not uh, that's not what happened at all. Nope. That's not what happened at all. It was, nope. It was very ever so slightly teased, right? But what ends up actually happening is Moro sends one of his homies out there. And Moro, we see that Moro now has this ability. He can actually take energy that he's got and just straight up, like, implant it in whoever he wants. And they just get, like, a huge power surge, Zenkai boost, however you, way you want to call it. And this dude that he, that he bestows this gift upon, like, totally, he has a whole transformation. Like, he's all jacked up, huge... And he goes on to fight against the remaining folks that's, that was fighting 7-3 and the other guy. That includes 17, 18, Gohan, and Piccolo. And Jacko. Jacko got one of... He got a kneecap. He was covering the knee. You know, see? Freaking... It was five on one. They were just trying to deflect a punch. And they, and they couldn't even do that. They ended up getting swung around, backed off, and we're and they're just like, damn, we're struggling now. Like, how are we gonna defeat this dude that Moro just gave him, you know, some some energy? Just goes to show you how strong Moro is. <clears throat> so now we're finally back to Yamcha, seeing what Yamcha's up to. So Tien and Chaozu, of course, are the ones that are checking up on Yamcha. Yamcha's out here in like a desert-like looking setting, getting smacked up on by this salamander egghead ass looking dude i was gonna say a pool looking ass <laughs> right right and then and then also meanwhile uh krillin and and roshi they just they just now they're trying to hide it out they're not trying to have it they're not trying to to, to take on this new chick so now it's like the the chapter starts with everyone having an okay time right Everything was looking good. The, the the sky was blue. Clear day. Sun was shining. Now by the end of the chapter, it's raining. The clouds blood. are Blood. It's raining blood. <laughs> right. Like, everyone's having a harder time now. They're struggling. And then, you know, we have a thing where Krillin's like, yo, man. Like, I hope, I hope, I hope Goku can, can find us soon. Krillin has, has the smart idea to... You know, to do a little bit of a hot power call up. Literally call him. Yeah, <laughs> the right? only phone Goku has. Exactly. You know, we ain't got no Android iPhone or no Capital Corp phones, but we definitely got them power level reads. So so Krillin just does just that. And and actually, you know what, even before that, he can feel everyone getting destroyed. Like he can he can sense it in bits. And he's, he even says, I could just barely feel it. They're chi down on earth. And he's trying to track them. But he, he says it's no good. Their chi is shrinking by the second. He can't get a solid hold. So thankfully, Krillin goes up on top of like a little mountain, it looks like. It's like he can see him. Right. And he, he, he does a little, ah. And he's like, 
Hey, I know that she. Right? And then boom. Found Earth. So now, so it, this is the part where I was just like, okay. Is this dumbass really going to try to drive this shit to the rest of the fucking way? Or is he actually going to? And then by the time you turn the page to the last, last page. Boom. Goku is back again, once again. <laughs> and, oh, and he man. turns around and he looks at them and says, Sorry I'm late. How y'all doing today? Oh, hit him with the lore of the Uchi game. <laughs> so there we go. So that's the whole entire chapter. Um, like I said, dope, solid chapter. Um, not really much to complain about because, I mean, look. I mean, yes, we had no Vegeta, but I'm sure Vegeta will, will get a little bit of Vegeta next next month. Um, but in turn, I mean, out of, what was this, a 40, 45-pager? Nah, is... yeah. We got hella characters, hella time, screen time for a lot of people dispersed pretty evenly, I would say, for what we were, what we were shown. And then we even get Goku right at the end. This is very interesting, though. Mm-hmm. When you think about Dragon Ball history, lore, whatever. When you think about Shonen in general, this is very interesting because Goku has arrived. Right. Okay? He has a habit of showing up late, but Goku has arrived. And on top of that, you know how things typically work in Shonen. Oh, yes, I do. And they brought Goku before Vegeta? Oh, I know where you're going with this. Something's about to go down. Vegeta about to whip out Super Saiyan 3 Ultra Instinct Primal Instinct Tail out the jaw, son. Okay, maybe not. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he said, okay, maybe not. <laughs> nah, but look, so so to to your point, right? That's exactly right. what that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. So so with this, right, by the time the chapter ended, and I was done reading it, there was a few things that I wanted to talk about specifically. Number one, I want to go back to the Gohan thing that I, I, I brought up that I, I actually... Well, yeah, I'm going to bring it up right now. We're going to talk about it right now. So the Chi-Chi line that she said at the beginning, she's like, oh, my little Gohan, right? Mm. And then we see Gohan, we get the little tease of like Gohan versus Moro, right? Which doesn't happen. That instance literally reminded me, it took me back to how it was with just about, well, I can't say all of the, the previous times because it's actually been like two times to, to put a number on it. It's, we've seen this precise scenario happen already a, a few times. And, and I, don't, I don't even know mm. if they realize that they're doing this. And when I say oh, they, they, I mean Toyotaro and Toriyama. I think he does. Yeah, because to be nostalgia honest, sells. yeah, yeah, nostalgia does sell ism. Indeed, it sells. But I just can we call it nostalgia, or 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 is this we gotta call a spade a spade? Like they they are copy pasting scenarios. Yeah, yeah, they are. Like I and I and the, and the ones that I'm talking about, guys, for those that have not caught on yet, are when Vegeta and Nappa. When they when they finally pulled up and there was no Goku, and who was there to fight? It was it was it was Krillin, it was Yajirobe, it was Piccolo, it was Gohan, and they tried to hold their own until Goku got there. And then of course Goku gets there, saves the day for the most part, etc. etc. Let's fast forward to Namek. Before Goku <laughs> was there, they had Vegeta. They had. The uh, last Dende, they had. Uh, well, I mean, he didn't do anything, but. But that's what I'm saying, though. He has to have known. He included shit like, you know, Goku has a habit of showing up late. Like they know exactly what they're doing. Right, you're right, and, and yeah. So we obviously they know. They they definitely know what they're doing because they, it shows within the dialogue. Goku, they literally had Goku saying, "Sorry, I got a bit of, uh, a bit. I got a habit of showing up late, right?" And yeah, he, he definitely does. For sure, he does. So even with and so it, so that reminded me so that little part at the beginning of of this, this chapter kind of reminded me that I was like wow like they really have been recycling that whole like 
you know that that whole scenario this whole scenario like a bunch of times over in in, in the yeah. whole you know the the whole series of dragon ball at and, least with z and real quick speaking of z picking up off the chi chi statement can i watch my little gohan in action you see you know you see her dad like the ox king like right there and they're both yep. watching the tv screen as you know like when gohan and Cell were fighting right right see so okay so i was actually trying to find a a picture of gohan and frieza on namek but any picture you try to look up look up it's ne there's never one where it's just those two it's it's like frieza and then it's like gohan krillin vegeta in the same shot or like gohan krillin whatever i mean do you need a specific form i mean the only reason why i was doing, i was i was trying to look that up is because i wanted to do like one of those side by side comparison pictures where it was just like damn look what we like look 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 how things kind of come full circle in a way yeah because what, what uh scenario are you referring to during the frieza saga so just like when you know frieza was finally there and they had to they had to defend themselves against this dude while they was waiting on goku to get there i mean yeah so like and then of course here we ha we have the literally the same thing except now it's there's more characters involved and there's a lot more going on so you know it's funny like even even if you want to look at the numbers, like I'm not, I haven't done a count, but if you take all the characters involved, like especially all the villains that they're fighting against, it's, it, it, I mean, I guess there's more in this arc than the Frieza stuff because what, what I, what I'm reminded of is the Ginyu Force. <laughs> they was fighting the Ginyu Force on Namek and, and it's like, yeah, the Ginyu Force was kind of like the appetizer to the, the main dish in Frieza. So the one thing I I oh man if now if this shit happens then it's definitely like okay okay Toyotaro okay Toriyama what what's happening here they better not they better not have no no scene where fucking Moru gets Moru gets krilling up in the air and we go oh Goku! no <laughs> they better not do that. I don't want to see. What, that's when we gonna see. That's when we gonna see Master Ultra Instinct Kyle Ken. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that statement. The, <laughs> times twenty. Like, like, come on, man. Like, we we seen Krillin die enough times. We saw the man blow up into oh, freaking no, pieces. Oh it could be an homage. It could, no, it could be an homage. It could be because like he's so calm in Ultra Instinct state that he can control that endless flow of power. It's we're gonna get an homage to some GT shit like we usually do. You know what I mean? It's gonna be that times one hundred. Oh my god. I don't know. We'll have to see until we'll have, we'll have, we'll have to see how that fucking plays out. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a, of course it was a nice touch that Goku does show up at the end of the chapter. So this, this chapter definitely felt fulfilled for what it was. I didn't, it'd I didn't, be, what's up? I was going to say, it'd be nice to see Krillin not get killed. Yes. I would like that change. I would definitely like that change. We've seen it Pick enough. someone else. I, I mean, even if they did, like it was, it would, I feel like that would still hold up to the paying of the homage type thing. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, but like. It, no, no, no more Krillin. Like, come on now. Like, man's had enough. Man has definitely had enough. Like, just yeah. Like, yo, imagine if it was like, I, you know what? Realistically speaking, I think it would be more, um, like more likely if Moro actually did that to one of his own guys. Like he got that sick and tired of them. You know what I'm saying? Is a very good assumption. Right. Thank you. Yeah, I can see, I absolutely see that happening. Like that, that little guy that was fighting with 7-3. Like he, he just, ooh, he just, he reeks of, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to die by my own, my own master type die. Like, <laughs> I just get that, I, I get that feeling. I mean, you can tell by even like, even the way 7-3 himself is like how, how OG he is of a fighter and like. Moro's like, yeah, I'm gonna need his powers to so go let him recover. <laughs> right, yeah. Like he just kind of throws him to the side, like. <laughs> yeah, bro. 
that's what it is so so yeah so there we have it so so that's the whole chapter now is there anything you wanted to add or um point out from this that anything you didn't like that you really liked or anything like that before we go in with the predictions I did not like the whole the whole universe 2 homage we've had we've had enough of that stop that shit <laughs> so you don't like the river and stuff they didn't like we didn't even get to see any cool like they just went ahead and fused like that was it like we didn't even get to see any individual cool anything you know what i mean like they just went ahead fused yeah and just, no that's true like that's definitely true but yeah i guess that's i guess that's one thing but you know what though as far as pacing is concerned i was okay pacing with is it. through the roof yeah i was definitely okay with it however i will also say that 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 is the perfect opportunity for the anime to really you know put some shine on these characters and give them a little bit more like you know individuality like you're saying i feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's the kind of thing that i would definitely expect out of an anime more over like a manga especially when like they have mad heads involved at the same time you know and they're like and they're doing a really good job going back and forth seeing like you know giving giving a couple panels and pages to like these guys these guys you know they're going back and forth at a very very good pace and like we we're getting the entire picture in real time it seems you know up until the part where Goku comes in now oh is there is there anything else that you wanted to say not nah, continue okay so so I also want to bring up what you said about how Goku is the first one to show up. I that if it, okay, if this is any indication, any <laughs> indication at all that the Vegeta's power up is godlike. Oh no 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 no! Not even just that, but it is time. The v- the oh, Vegeta well, oh, heads, I, wait, I, bro. It's been time. Oh my Everybody god! Everybody knew it's been time. The moment we saw the Galactic Avengers patrol. Uh, we knew it was time. Uh, my man is gonna come in like Captain Marvel. Like he's gonna pull up. Dun, 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 dun. Like <laughs> go. Like look, Goku. Like they, they, Goku's gonna have some fun. Whatever. He's gonna. He's gonna help everybody out. Whatever. He's gonna defend the 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 Galactic Patrol, the Avengers, right of Universe Seven. And, and then of course they're gonna get to the part where he's gonna, act, of course, go toe to toe with Moro. <clears throat> he's gonna, he, he's gonna, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna have a good time. They're gonna go back and forth, I'm sure, whatever. We'll see, we'll see a little bit of like, of like, you know, Goku having his way. But then it's gonna end up all the same. Moro is gonna drain the, and and that's dude. It just goes back to what I've been saying. You have Ultra Instinct, that's fine. But if it's still, if the guy can still absorb your life energy, how what good is it then? You know, like that's what that's what it comes down to, and that is when all the Vegeta fans, all the Vegeta heads, they've been following this character, loving this character for twenty plus years, thirty freaking plus years. <laughs> their moment is finally. Their, yo, this is their. This is going to make up for Resurrection F. Vegeta should have got that kill. Goku's arrival in this at the end of this chapter literally like verified, like confirmed. Yes. Like Vegeta's come up, like everything. Like hundred percent. I don't know how to describe it. Dude, like I wanna know what it's gonna be though. It has to be some real shit. Dude, I, I, I can assure you right now with how well the job they've been doing with, with, with this arc like they would really have to fuck this one up they'd have to try to fuck this one up <gasps> oh my god yeah. you know what's gonna happen what goku gonna be on the ground yeah oh my god oh my god <laughs> yo vegeta's gonna look like a god isn't he he's gonna nah, listen 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 you're right but listen there's a specific picture in your head that I need you to get to. Okay. Goku's gonna be on the ground. Mm-hmm. Vegeta's gonna show up, and Goku's gonna kind of like look and like get his focus in. And it's gonna be Vegeta standing there the same way it happened reverse on Namek. Oh, yo, oh, my. I was gonna hit my table, but I didn't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna break this shit. This is a nice expensive table. But fuck. 
Ah, that is, oh my, yes. That dude, 147,000% happening. There's no way that's not, that is, dude, that's happening. I'm telling you right now, the way this shit is writing, the, no, not mm -hmm. the way this, the way this do, shit's going. Yeah. Absolutely free. He said free. <laughs> There's that like that like out of all of the the wonky predictions I might have and the bullshit power up jokes that I will I will make. Look, that above anything else, they could even they can even make it revert back to Aspol Goku, and he's gonna be the one to the, to do the do the fucking the ending thing, right? They could do all that, but that shit right there you just said is happening. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Oh my god, that that it's gonna be, yeah. That is probably yeah. the best dude. That is the best prediction I've heard. That's why. That's why you heard my reaction when I thought of it. I got the picture in my head. I was like, oh no. You oh you had like I was like, what have I done? I spoiled it. I spoiled it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> you like <laughs> you had a you had a that's so raven you whew, like you had that you saw you saw the future yeah, you're right though <laughs> you saw the future bro holy shit mm -hmm. yeah. i pulled that shit out of the future chapter said spoiler alert mm -hmm. 100 percent that yo now <laughs> I, yo i'm actually you know what's the, the 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 sucky part about that is that that's just not gonna happen for like a good like two three chapters we gotta wait. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm literally gonna be waiting for that. Like, I'm. That's facts. We gonna talk about it. <laughs> I'm literally gonna be waiting for that. Like, oh my god. God damn it, dude. You, you, I, yo, you never fail. Every, every episode we do this shit, you literally never, you never <laughs> fail to get me to fucking freak out on some highly big brain educated fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> Like, God, like, that's so good. That is, like, see, because you know why that's so good? Because that's perfect storytelling. That is, bleh, oh, my, I'm going to throw up, son. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, that, dude, that is, you, <laughs> yo, wait, 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 you understand, they do that, if that happens, Goku is, at that point, no matter what happens after that, is number two character. <laughs> he said no matter what. No matter what, son. <laughs> that shit happens, dude. That dude, that one big panel. You know how you know how they do that shit in a manga. That, oh yeah. One yes, big bro. panel, one page. He's gonna, he's gonna, you know, that shit's gonna come into focus. Oh my god. I'm, I'm. Oh my lord, bro. Dude, it's gonna happen. This is gonna happen, and on that day, it's gonna have to be a national holiday. No people going to work, no one going day. to school. Yes, National Vegeta Day. You get, you get, and if you do have to work, you get paid double time. That's how that shit goes. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That's in. Oh my god, that's the that's that's literally the best prediction out of anything else that I like. The just because you know how much that dude. That, 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 it's like, Vegeta has already gone through so much character development since his mm -hmm. debut. And for that to take place would just solidify him as the greatest character in anime history. Free! I just fucking almost shit myself. Free! <laughs> At that moment, all Goku heads will become Vegeta heads. Be because <laughs> if they don't, they're frauds. Cause I'm telling you right now, I love I love Goku. Goku is my fucking guy. Since 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 youth. I could barely reach the toilet when I was going to the bathroom. That's how long me and Goku been freaking he been in my life. Now v Vegeta dude. See Goku been the ah, hitting his, on fucking fell on his head and shit. <laughs> eating chicken and rice. Training, fighting, all this stuff. Vegeta, dude, my man was conflicted. He, yo, come on, bro. He, dude, I don't even have to go into it. He will, and on that day, mark my words, on that day, Vegeta becomes number one. Yeah, for a chapter. No. 
<laughs> for life, son. You know how this goes. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me enjoy this, this moment Absolutely. right now. I, right? I will not take it from anybody. <laughs> yeah, because I, I tell you right now, there's any Vegeta fans listening to this shit, right? They, they. They probably already fucking busted, all right? They, 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 yeah, you might want to put a spoiler alert on this shit for yeah, <laughs> Loki. Have some tissues ready, guys. <laughs> have some fucking tissues ready. All right, anyway. That's, okay, that, that, I don't even want to have any predictions after hearing that shit. Like, I, I think I've been talking about this, that one thing for the last, like, 10 minutes. At least. <laughs> That's how, that's how we do out here in the full power. We're out of control. We come up with something. We're like, oh my god. That's it. And we just start malfunctioning, done, done. and that's it. And it's it's over. Dude, it's because it's like it's like a proper malfunction because it's like it makes it's, so much sense. I don't want to think about anything else. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like that's just how that shit works. We've talked about perfect storytelling before, just like the ways Dragon Ball could steer that literally make it perfect. Dude, I, yo. I keep not now like it's almost like I'm I am drawing this shit in my head like I I told you there was a, like I thought of that I like had a moment to myself and I was like I needed to share the picture with you I needed to like mentally share the picture with you Oh my god I can't wait now now see if that doesn't happen I will actually that will be where I will we, we going to have to hit up young Gigi oh, Okay no no See, young, no, see, if we hit up Young Gigi, the, the thing that Young Gigi will do is he'll, not only will he make it perfect, but he'll add some shit that they're not adding to make it even more perfect. And then, That's why. Yeah, no, like, no. With all due respect, we cannot, we cannot do that because that shit will just make us feel even worse about it because Young Gigi has a great mind. A very, very great mind. He has some great things that he's created on his own. And they just make so much sense. Like, to... to they make too much sense. It makes too... Yo, it too ma much sense for Dragon Ball. <laughs> That's straight facts. Too much sense for Dragon Ball. But at the same time, they could look... Like, a Toriyama could just be like, Yo, you know what? Boom. I'm gonna take throw, that. throw it in and there. Boom, right. <laughs> throw it in Signed. There. Tell Viz to fucking publish Approved. that shit right now. Right. Approved. Yeah. Like, exactly. Like, that's his application. Like, oh, you made a legitimate like storyline for for shit that i haven't explained or even thought about all right you're hired <laughs> oh man but all all that aside only other thing i want to predict for chapter 58 right <sighs> obviously we're gonna see some goku action and i feel like it might be a heavy goku chapter which I'm not, there, there's nothing wrong with that because we haven't seen Goku in a hot minute. Like, we haven't seen him do anything. I don't know. They've been like, I think, I don't think next chapter will be a heavy Goku chapter. I think the one after it will. So what do you think is going to happen in the next one? I think in the next chapter, we're going to have a quick, we're going to have a roundup. A roundup? Mm-hmm. Because you look, these goons getting beat one by one. Okay. We're going to have a roundup. You know, you got Tiana and Yamcha helping each other out. We're going to have all these, you know, little musketeers get, you know, thrown into the prison, whatever. I think next one, I think next chapter is going to be a cleanup chapter before it's time. Oh, before. Okay. But yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, Goku's going to ve like very well be heavily involved with making sure, like, everyone's good before he takes on Moro. Yeah. But at the same time, he's gonna have to be quick because I'm sure it was. I'm sure at this very moment, Moro knows that he's there. But you know what I'm wondering? What? I'm wondering if it's gonna be some Vegeta Nappa shit where Goku's ready to square up and Moro's literally just kind of like. Like Moro's, Moro's overconfident with good reason is the best way i can say because mm. like when you think about it realistically goku hasn't really done anything or like learned anything i mean like he's he's advanced i'm sure in a multiplicative way right because that's how dragon ball works but he doesn't have he doesn't have what vegeta has and that's why he's coming first right <sighs> so i'm wondering so i'm wondering if it's gonna be some he wants to square up 
and then it's gonna be a little tease of like a bout or whatever and Marlo's just gonna be like nah I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait till you're both here if you'd like to fight one of these go for it gives him some energy throws some minions like before the final boss type shit because I'm wondering if he's gonna if Goku's gonna have to go through some like prerequisite minions before Moro actually like squares up with him one on one. Right, so Ginyu Force situation, just like on Namek. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, then that yeah, that, that that's totally fine. That makes perfect sense. Because like I'm wondering if I wonder if they will get the one on one or if Moro's just gonna wait for until both Goku and Vegeta are there because he thinks that they're both so you know, just they're just not worth it. Right. So I get he just knows that their energy is valid. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for the cleanup chapter then. That, that, that definitely makes sense. That's very sensible. Um, outside of that, prediction-wise, I mean, look. I'm not going to lie to you. I cannot get that image out of my head. That that, And that shit is not even happening next month. That, that's happening, like, maybe in a few months. <laughs> like, Vegeta coming to the aid of everyone and Goku in the same style that took place on Namek all those years ago. Like, that... That shit actually might make me fucking cry, son. Like, if I see that, just as is, it is, oh, my, like, that, that is, that is when you know there is hope for humanity. <laughs> like, real shit. Because, like, yo, people can, can, people can, can, can bitch about. Oh man, Dragon Ball Z, man, known for the plot holes, known for Toriyama forgetting shit, known for this, known for that. You can meme on it all you want, but when they have moments like this, when things come full circle and things make all this sense and it's just it's just so well done, like a fucking steak, bruh. <laughs> it's like, ugh, man, you you can you have to acknowledge it as like wow, like. I can't believe this is actually happening. Like, Vegeta is going to be a number one character for once. Finally. Like, he deserves this shit after everything he has fucking been through. Like, oh my. And you know what? Yo, honestly, and the cherry on top of all that, he don't even need this. But because Vegeta is going to be that guy, he's about to pull up with some spinner rims hydraulics on his shit. Oh. He he he's gonna he gonna whip out <laughs> ultra instinct just because he's like, yeah, I could do this now, no big fucking deal. I'm the new number one hero, motherfucker. Call me all might, cause I'm voiced by the same guy anyway, son. Boom! That's the whole episode. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we like to call full power out of control. Hell yeah. But before we go, we do have uh, some comments to acknowledge from last week, as we always do at the end of late Full Power Podcast episodes. So, and this is a quick plug for those that uh, would, li- would like to hear your <clears throat> questions, concerns, comments uh, recognized on this podcast. All you got to do is, you know, of course, after you're done liking the video... Uh, you can drop your comment or whatever in the comment section right below. That's all you got to do. All you got to do, or if you're on Twitter, if you want to you wanna reach out on Twitter, all you got to do is make sure you're using the hashtag Full Power Podcast. That is it. And then question away, and then we'll definitely bring it up. And feel free to also let us know any other topics you guys want to hear from us because I actually did get a suggestion <clears throat> that um, I did... I did let them know that we'll definitely do this um, for a future episode because it's, it's just a great idea. Which hashtag FPP? Yeah, which I'll actually reveal right now, so you guys get a you guys get the the uh, the advance notice. All right. <clears throat> so basically, the, uh, the 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 new topic for the for the future is um, our top ten DBZ moments. And like so, like I would give five, and then you would give five. Oh damn! Right, so like that's that's a that's a nice hefty episode right in itself. <laughs> and I know we're gonna have like two of those clashing. Most likely, yeah. And now th- now this this narrows it down to Dragon Ball Z though. So like 
a lot of things can be ruled out like those we're not talking about dragon ball that's good we're not talking about yeah, super yeah, yeah. we're not talking about no gt we're strictly sticking to and we're not Z. talking about movies either i guess not we'll just keep it we'll keep it to the to the series of z we'll keep it to the series of z. So, so we'll look forward to that episode 14 there you go you, you heard it here first top five favorite favorite moment well i guess it's the top 10 because it's two top fives but you know quick maths two plus two plus one that's three quick math all right anyway all right so so vegeta rules funny enough this this person's name oh man this, that, if that's not a fucking foreshadow i don't know what is life just has some funny moments sometimes but anyways, this person says, thank you for making this amazing, powerful podcast, and I have to listen to it three times. <laughs> and are you guys going to see the Sonic movie? <laughs> and what is your favorite Gohan transformation, and do you want Gohan to face cooler in a movie if they make him canon at some point? Multi-part question. Kai, go ahead. You first. Do you like anime? Do you like Japanese-inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15% off your entire order at imori.com. Multi-part answer, I was, you know, rolling around at the speed of sound in the movie theater. Oh! That was fire. Was really good, I enjoyed it. Oh yeah. I know Uchi enjoyed it. Oh, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, do I want Gohan to face cooler? That sounds more interesting than I would have thought of on my own, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Like now with everything happening, like in the moral arc, you know what I mean? Right. Like, cause you have to, you have to include the most up to date versions of the characters. Right. So I would, that sounds pretty interesting. I can't lie. And then your favorite transformation from Gohan. Is that even fair? He got, he has like one. <laughs> he is super, he is super Saiyan or not super Saiyan. Like that's how it Yo. goes for him. <laughs> <laughs> like what kind of like I, I i know what you mean yeah, like, yeah, i definitely yeah. know what you mean but like thinking about it really like i i was always a fan of super saiyan like mm -hmm. you know you know what i'm talking when i say super saiyan everyone knows what i'm talking about mm. like that i am a super fan of super saiyan so the fact that they took his away i wasn't really with it I like the power-ups they gave him. I like the idea of the Z-Sword and all the lore and all that shit. And, you know, his, you know, Elder Kai's hula hoop dance around him. But <laughs> he was reading manga. What are you talking about? Well, he was dancing at some point yeah. first. Wait, that He did like five hours of dancing and then like two days of. My man was reading, <laughs> reading Jump, manga. son. He was reading Demon Slayer. He was, <laughs> he was making Demon Slayer. <laughs> stop. Please stop. We can't. We can't do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so moving on. Um, yeah, I'm going I'm to just go ahead and give the basic answer to Super Saiyan because I really, I really like the Super Saiyan form. So that's me. But to be honest with the cooler thing, because I'm, I'm a super cooler fan too. Mm -hmm. I actually want to see if there's anybody at the moment I would kind of like to see cooler face off against. Mm. You know what? Who? Give me your answer, Uchi, because I so, I know exactly what I'm gonna say and why I'm gonna say it. But okay. I would like to hear your opinion. Okay. Who would you like if if Cooler could fight anybody? Who would you like to see him fight? Any? I said anybody. Well. <laughs> <laughs> As my avatar might lead you to believe. As my Twitter bio might have you understand. <laughs> As this podcast title might have you <laughs> comprehend. I am the Broly Man. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I mean, shit. That's like, okay, but that's like the cliche answer from me. Like, yeah, I would love to see Broly fight him. Um, 
but like context wise yes yes they have no like there's nothing there like the only way i could ever see broly versus cooler is if like it, it was like a bigger story that was like as if it was super dragon ball Hero. no stop 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 like we're, we're, you we're not we're not we're not going into that that route okay <laughs> have a little bit more respect all right oh, oh my bad <laughs> nah but you know at that point i might as well just say oh yeah i want to see cumber versus cooler get the fuck out of here like, yeah. like all right but but yeah, nah, like for in order for in order for Broly to fight Cooler, like it, like I said, like it would have to be a bigger story involved. Like it would have to involve Frieza. There would have to be a whole plot behind it, a whole All right, scheme so, and scenario. So, so what is your context answer? Or do you just my context answer? I mean, see, like the only the uh, like the only people that would make sense for him to fight would be either. Three, three choices gohan goku or vegeta because they're the they're the one all right so do you yeah yeah so i would say gogeta that's an interesting answer mm -hmm. but i'm gonna go ahead i'm not gonna yeet that i'm gonna i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna raise you my answer oh boy. <clears throat> okay see because Yours is viable, and yours even has context, and I even like that answer. I wasn't expecting that answer. I should have thought of it. Hey. But, but, I think that there would be a different fight first. <gasps> oh shit, man! I don't know why I didn't say this first. All right, go ahead, let him have it. If there was anyone cooler, I want, I want to see cooler fight. Is I fucking I I God damn it! I, I knew it. Ah <laughs> shit! It's. Frieza. I'm so mad because it literally, makes perfect I, uh, sense. it is perfect storytelling. It can get us into the Frieza race, our Kojin lore. We can understand why the brothers don't like each other, uh, why we haven't seen Cooler to this point. It can literally have, it, they can literally bond over their hatred of the Saiyans. You literally just probably added another half hour to this fucking podcast because you're As absolutely right. Usual. Because he could literally, and Frieza could even bring up the whole thing of fusion and get pissed and they could talk about it and like, they're bros. That's bros fix shit by arguing and fighting sometimes. Like, that is, oh my God. You're welcome. That's two in one fucking episode, dude. Two. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, these questions came in me. I mean, <laughs> listen, I, yo, I honestly, like real shit. As soon as you were, you put me on the Dragon Ball writing team, I beg you. Dude, as soon as yo, fucking me too, yo. Yo, <laughs> as soon as you were, you were like getting to your answer. I, I honestly, truthfully, knew. You wanted to take it back. I yes, <laughs> like fuck, fuck Gogeta. Nah, don't. I do not want Gogeta to fight. I, I, I want that because. You know how many times we've talked about this on the freaking show. Not just, not just bringing Cooler in, but just having more outside lore of, of, of Dragon Ball, like having more backstories for characters and just shit like that. Like imagine they had a whole fucking thing about Frieza's race, like entirely. Right, right. Like it was, it would have to take a single Saiyan to make an appearance as that kind of like, of a, of a, of a, um, how do you call it? Like a cameo. Like that's, that's the cameo. Yeah. It, it like that's how much more I want to see out of like the potential of just this this whole entire right. universe of this series, bro. Like that scenario would be the perfect perfect way to introduce Cooler, man. Just to have a yep. fucking whole Frieza back. I'm done. I can't. <laughs> Cause then this is gonna take me fucking longer to edit and put it out there. Nah. nah. We're not. We can talk about that next time. Yeah, totally. We can, we can touch on that. It. We can touch that on could, it. yes. You know what? That can actually be its whole entire fucking episode because we could. I, I guarantee we could talk. We could fill a whole podcast episode out of that. So let me answer the question. So did I see Sonic? Absolutely, I saw Sonic. I loved that movie. I gave it amazing fucking rating. I love. First of all, I love that movie. Got me so good that I literally went on Steam and I bought every single Sonic game. That they fucking have on Steam. 
Oh my god. You want to know how? Because they knew what the fuck they was about to do. They were like, oh man, we made the correction. This this Sonic looks way better than the bullshit we was trying to make. <laughs> Thank we're going to fucking... We're going to make sure we capitalize on this shit. We're going to have these motherfuckers, after their ticket, play the games too. And what do you know? They have a sale for everything. No matter what console you look at, I'm sure the sale might still be going on right now. PlayStation, Switch, Steam, maybe even on your Xbox. They got whatever Sonic game they got on there, it's on sale. So Steam conveniently had a Sonic Mega Pack or whatever the fuck it was called. And it included every single game that they offered for like, and the, and the, the combo price was actually like worth it. It was like almost like a steal in a sense. It was, it was like 50 something dollars. It was less than $60. So I got like, what, like 12 Sonic games? Like that they got me fucking good. That's how, that's how good the movie was. I was like, oh man, they, they, I, they deserve more of my money. Please take it because I just, I, I like, it was just so well done. So I was just like, all right, let me play some Sonic 4. Let me play some, some fucking, uh, what was I playing the other day? I was playing Sonic Lost World because I heard that, I heard that Sonic World, if you play that, then you could read the comics that, that's coming out now. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot Sonic has a comic book line. So see, see what I mean? Like I, I, when, when you make something that good, see, people need to use me as the premier example out of what happens when you produce something amazing on like, you know, and there's no bullshit because if the movie was okay, I wouldn't have even thought to do that. But when you make the movie and it's amazing, then that means that, well, you're getting the rest of it too. You're getting, you're getting the sales here, the sales there, the sales everywhere. I, I even bought Sonic, uh, what was that shit? Sonic, Sonic fucking uh, Forces, I think it is. I bought that shit on okay. the Switch because it was also on sale. And I was like, I need a Switch Sonic game. Fuck it. Boom. Done. Then I saw the shit on Steam after that. I was like, okay. Boom. Done. I have it. I have the game twice. I have the game fucking twice. Do I care? Absolutely fucking not. I went and found the comics. I got the comics. Not gonna tell you how, but I got the comics. <laughs> All right, like I'm, I, I am fully invested in the Sonic lore now because that, that's how good the movie was. So there you go. Did I see the fucking movie? Yes, I saw the movie. Favorite Gohan transformation. This is probably gonna be an interesting answer, but Ultimate Gohan is like it's a dope form, right? But see, when I was a kid, I literally, when I, when I like when so. When I see progression with forms, right? Like you see a character how they look at base value, base form, right? And they have a certain way they look. And then they like, they get a power up and then the, the look changes, whether it's drastic or it's not. But they, the, the, the point is that they have a, a change, right? So for me, when I see Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2 and then Ultimate Gohan, for me as a, as a youngin, I looked at that, I was like, okay, well, yeah, like, he's stronger like that that's at least what they're telling me but i didn't want to believe it because it didn't look like he had any kind of change outside of he got goku's gi on and he had like he had the white aura and his hair was back to like his black and i was like when i was a kid i wasn't really that big of a mystic gohan fan because that's what they called in the fucking games um but I mean, I mean, like, even, like, yo, even when I play, like, Budokai Tenkaichi, and I would go from Transform Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, then Ultimate Gohan, it just, it, it didn't feel satisfying to me. Because I was like, man, it's like going blonde, blonde, no, blonde, then blonde with sparks, then go back to black, like, come on, bro. So, my honest answer, my favorite Gohan transformation is, is, is Super Saiyan 2 when he was in the Great Saiyan Man outfit. Because that shit, yo, he this is a this is a Gohan that saw another man put hands on his girl. That is a killer Gohan right there. That 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 go Spopovich was about to fucking die if you guys remember that shit. I guess my answer would then be the pro probably like the the most typical one, like the teen Gohan Super Saiyan two. Yes, yeah, everyone's favorite. Yeah. But like that was like 
like that was my favorite character like before super of course that's like yeah hella 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 people i'm sure had the same answers too for sure i i yeah that's definitely <clears throat> and then so we got uh do you want to fade okay and do you want going to face cool in a movie if they make a canon at some point um i mean sure why not um it'd have to make you know it'd have to make sense but i feel like you know if they're gonna bring if they're gonna finally introduce cooler as canon and if they're gonna have cooler fight gohan then just like with any other series when you introduce a new villain or or hero dude, and dude, dude what you said villain and hero and you triggered oh me. sorry 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 anyway all right. <laughs> no, no, no 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 because because like that made me think about like what's going on in my hero real quick full power out of control transition talking about what's going on in my hero and how the next chapter with all that you know that villain arc right mm. bro they could make cooler canon with a frieza arc yes i yes i know the arc though like like of like just like what their plan is yes yes yeah 100 percent. we just want we want that shit to happen like no we need that shit well yeah that, that we need an explanation like how did they become the bounty hunters of universe 7 right where the where's the rest of the freezer's race like what planet are they from right like if if moro's doing the bounty hunt and how did these guys get like underneath like you know what i mean yeah. like I, I understand he was trapped up but i'm saying like there has to have been other people because like frieza obviously was not the strongest being throughout that and he, and he came from somewhere like that's, right. that's without a doubt and we, we've right. seen characters like frost like okay they definitely have a some they form definitely of come from somewhere exactly. so but yeah like so like what I was saying before, like when you introduce new characters, whether they're good or bad, in order to sell the reader or the viewer on the character as valid, they're gonna have to watch people. Go Gohan's hmm. gonna be one of those people. Like he he's just gonna be like he might not get washed, but he'll definitely get fucking hands. And like that that mm, yep. that's just how that's gonna go. Like th there's I, I so the thing is like I can joke. Well, it's cooler. He's gonna get feet. Ha! Ah, yes, he, he. Oh, he. He gonna get them Ninja Turtle fucking grips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, like on the on the on the whole topic of like, you know, these these, these like uh, these dream match scenarios. Like, my right. thing is like I could joke with you guys as much as I as I do, right? But like at the same time, the the realism in me will just be like, okay, would this make sense storyline wise? And if so, why? And if not, why? And I'll always, I will always think of multiple different ways, ways to even possibly make that um, a thing to begin with. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. As far as Gohan versus Cooler, like Goku versus Cooler makes way more sense, obviously. Vegeta versus Cooler makes way more sense. The two of them against Cooler makes way more sense. But like, but with 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 Gohan, like. You gotta remember, like, the only time Gohan saw Cooler, like, canonically, I'm, well, okay, well, I can't even say that, but, like, from the movie verse, I guess, movie side of things, he, you know, my man Gohan was just trying to chill with Icarus, and he got fucking bodied, like, and that was it. He got, got handled, yeah. and then Goku finished the rest. They had the, that, that sick fucking, you know, Oh, that soundtrack the, 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 the fucking the, the fucking bird and then go go yeah, Yo, that, that, oh that shit was fire that shit was fire that like that's super saiyan that's super saiyan the one i was talking about oh uh, yeah that's super saiyan that that but that's yeah. Goku. exactly like that's like the og you know what i mean like the og like the super saiyan like super saiyan 2 like you, you know you super saiyan 2 with the sparkles or whatever yeah. but like that hair like that that look that everything yeah so yeah yeah that's 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 the answer to that's my answer to the question thank you for uh asking appreciate that um as far as yeah that, that was pretty much the only question outside of like someone bringing up that goku ultra instinct and uh kefler in the third season of dragon ball fighters which is a very hype and i actually forgot to bring that up in the beginning of the episode they released some gameplay yes or some other stuff with kefler so i'm not sure yeah so i'm actually that's something that either at the time that you guys listen to this or watch this there should be a gameplay commentary breakdown esque video from yep. me for you guys to, to check out so and it's gonna be on the uchi games channel with a z 
So that's where for those that yeah for those that don't know actually, um, I have I've decided to basically migrate and pretty much delegate all types of video game content to another channel. So that way the main account stays strictly to you know the main format of why y'all are here and that's the anime content the manga content and whatnot all the video game stuff is going to be on uchi games with a z that's u-c-h-i-g-a-m-e-z all right and i also do have a giveaway going on to help me get these numbers up quicker as far as the subscriber rate goes um every 100 subs i'm actually giving away a free copy of power Bar for the grid which is a very fun 3v3 fighting game. It's very easy to pick up. Um, and it's actually cheap on its own. But, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm as far as price goes, I mean. But I'm going to be giving away. So I already, get, I already gave away one copy of the game to a lucky winner over in fucking Brazil. Like, we, we international out here, right? So, <clears throat> so go ahead, hit that sub button if you haven't already. Make sure you hit in the Gleam link to actually officially enter yourselves so that way you get the credit towards it because that's basically where i'm reading the readers from or the winners from and uh yeah actually at the time of this uh we are almost at 150 so we're almost at 200 so that's a good thing but yeah we're trying to get up to a thousand that's the big goal um we got some other fun stuff going on on that channel as well uh we got we got stuff from axis starts from arxis stuff from hori a bunch of a bunch of dope things that are happening um with for your boy and as far as the anime stuff goes i mean hey we know we, we we know that dragon ball super might not be coming back in the anime anytime soon but bleaches <laughs> so uh look forward to those look forward to those uh videos and reactions because the second they announce when your boy's gonna be there all right so kai you have anything else you want to add no, I think I'm good for this one. All right, cool, guys. Well, there you go. That's Full Power Podcast, episode number 13. That's a full review as well from Chapter 57 of the Dragon Ball Super Manga. Make sure, of course, as always, make sure, make sure, make sure. Please, please, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure you're checking out the, the, the links in the description to continue to support this channel and your boys out here to, of course, to bring you more Full Power Podcast episodes. It's been your boy, Uch. It's been the homie Kai. We'll see y'all next time.